Hi everybody. So today we are going to discuss on the topic one compartment open model IB borders administration. That means it's only one compartment. It's an open model. The root of administration is IB border. So if you administer a single dose of an injection into a healthy volunteer, how to determine the various pharmacokinetic parameters? Okay. How to determine the various pharmacokinetic parameters? So ultimately, you have to collect the blood samples. You have to analyze the blood samples. Okay, so after analyzing the blood samples, if it follows a one compartment model, how to determine the various pharmacokinetic parameters? So let us see how to derive it. Okay, first thing, this is the schema actually for the ease of understanding for time saving the time. I've written all of the derivation. Okay, you just follow me. I uh, will go step by step. Okay, don't look there and there. We go there. First thing is when you get a derivation. You should able to identify or you should able to plot what is the schematic representation. Okay, so it is a one compartment open model both elimination as well as administration of the drug model, both administration and elimination. Okay, open model and this is IV borders here I have written as IV borders or you have to write what is the rate of administration here. Okay. So this is a schematic representation for one compartment open model IV bolus administration. Right. Now, first equation: the rate of presentation of the drug into the body. The rate of presentation of the drug into the body. That means, if you consider your body, you are administering the drug as an injection. Okay. The drug enters into the brain, it distributes, and it slowly starting eliminating half of the body. So the total amount of drug present in the body. Okay, that is the rate of presentation of the drug is calculated from the equation dx by dt is equal to rate in minus rate out. That means at what rate the drug is administered into your body minus at what rate the drug is eliminated out of the body. That means slowly the drug is slowly or fastly or what the drug, the drug is entered into the body. Slowly the drug is eliminated out of the body. So, what is the presentation of the drug in the body? Dx by dt is given by rate in minus rate out. At what rate it is administered, at what rate it is eliminated out of the body. Right now, this is a this is a what root injection. This is an IV border. So you know injection how we say like uh, you are a major hospital, they are taking injections. How the injections are taken? So it's not in a particular way because in a series either one of your two amount of medication to be there, we are directly immediately we are administering in one second or two second. Maybe in a second period of time, three amount or five amount volume of the injection is administered directly into the body. So this process is very fast. This process is very fast, and there is no particular way for this process. Okay. So in case of IV borders, in case of an IV injection, there is rate in is zero. The rate in is zero. So dx by dt is equal to rate in becomes zero. What is what then rate out? So dx by dt is equal to we can rewrite it as rate out. So what is rate out? That means the drug is moving out of the body. The drug is moving out of the body. So rate out is a first order process. Elimination of the drug, excretion of the drug from the body. Okay. By the kidneys. It means excrete the drug to you. Excretion of drug through kidney. It is a majorly it is by what by glomerulus filtration. Major amount of drug excreted by glomerular filtration. Glomerular filtration is a passive process or active process. It is a passive process. Why it is a passive process? It depends upon the concentration of the drug. It depends upon the concentration of the drug. Depends on concentration of drug present there. Where the drug is present? Drug is present in the systemic circulation. That means excretion of drug from the body to the kidney happens based upon the amount of drug that present in the systemic circulation. If the amount of drug in the blood is high, more amount of drug will be filtered. If the amount of drug in the blood is less, only less amount of drug will be filtered out. So this is a passive process. It depends upon the concentration of drug in the body. It depends upon the concentration of the drug in the body. So it is a first order process. It is a first order process. It depends only on the concentration of the drug of the drug present in the body. The equation for the first order process that is, it is equal to 
kdx minus kdx. So the equation for dx by dt, you can rewrite it as what kdx. What is k? K is stands for rate of elimination or elimination rate constant. Elimination rate constant. X capital X indicates what the amount of drug present in the body. Okay. So this variable you must remember it properly. K stands for elimination rate constant. X stands for amount of drug in the body. And also here there is a minus here. What does this minus here it shows? Minus shows reduction in the plasma concentration of the body. So reduction of change or decrease in the plasma drug concentration. Because 100 mg drug here are administered. Slowly the drug is eliminating out of the body. So I am going to what happens after a period of time. From the 100 mg it has reduced to 95. Then it has reduced to 90. So slowly it is decreasing. So this minus symbol indicates a decrease in what decrease in the plasma drug concentration. So the rate of concentration of the drug in the body dx by dt is equal to minus kex for an IV lawless administration. Okay. Now you integrate this equation about integration you will get log x is equal to log x0 minus kex. Log x is equal to log x0 minus kex. What is a x0 here? x0 is equal to what is x? x is the amount of drug present in, a, in the body at a particular time. When x0 is the amount of drug administered, the dose of the drug administered is considered as what? x0, that is amount of the 0 to time. So, the level claim of the drug is 500 mg, the amount of administered it is 500 mg of the drug. We are taking a particular, the end of the injection. So, x0 indicates the amount of drug that is administered. X indicates the amount of drug present in the body at time t. So, upon integration of this equation, you will get log x equal to log x0 minus kx. This is the third equation. Converting this logarithmic into exponential form, you will get x is equal to x0 dx2 minus kg. Taking the logarithm, you will get log x equal to log x0 minus kg divided by 2.3 naught t. Okay? Log x equal to log x0 minus kg divided by 2.3 naught t. This is the fifth equation. Okay? So x you know it is the amount. What is the equation for x? x can be written as x is equal to c into d. c indicates what? c is the concentration. So in diagram also it is wherever you see c, c indicates plasma drug concentration. v d, this is a capital v small d. Capital v small d indicates the polymer distribution. So already studying the chapter distribution. So the amount of drug is equal to what? Concentration into polymer. This is uh, uh, not an equation in the background, but this is general equation. Okay, whatever is the amount is equal to concentration into body. So x is equal to C into V D. If x is equal to C into V D, substitute x C V D in presence of x in the fifth equation. In this equation, we substitute instead of x, we substitute it as C V D. What you will get? Log C V D is equal to log V D C0. Okay, C is the concentration, plasma drug concentration at the time T. What is C0? Then C0 is the initial concentration. Initial concentration. That is X is the amount of drug. X0 is the initial amount. C is the concentration. C0 is the initial concentration. Okay, this is the only difference. So when we indicate the 0, it shows that 0 to time. Okay, 0 to time is initial time. So once 500 mg of drug is administered, x0 means what 500 mg. This drug reaches the body, it rapidly distributes. After distribution, if you collect the blood sample, what is the concentration of drug present in the blood? That is what that is what C0, initial concentration. What is C? C is the number. So after administering the drug after a particular period of time, say 15 minutes, after 15 minutes of time, what is the concentration of drug present in the blood? That is what C. Okay? So, this fifth equation, after substituting the value for x as well as x0, we can rewrite it as log vdc is equal to log vdc0 minus kdv divided by 2.3 naught 3. Okay? Now, simplify this equation. So, log xy, log xy is equal to log x plus log y. Okay? So, the same way, log vdc is equal to log equation to be log vd plus log c is equal to log vd plus log that is c0 minus k divided by 2 by 3. So the both sides we have what? Log vd, log vd. So the log vd, log vd gets cancelled. Finally, we will get log c is equal to log c0 minus k divided by 2 by 3. This is simple simplification. 
So don't worry, log mv is the simplified by the of log mv, that is equal to log mv plus log c is equal to log mv plus log c is equal to log the size we have log mv, log mv is the answer, finally we get log c is equal to log c is equal to minus a t divided by 2.3 log v. So this is the general equation for one compartment open model IV porous administration if it is a single dose administrator. Single dose means only one dose of the administration. Okay. So after administering a one dose of the drug molecule, so this is the general equation. Okay. Concentration at any time, initial concentration, K is the elevation constant, K is the that divided by 2.3 naught. Okay. So from this equation, so from this general equation, now we are going to determine the kinetic parameters. So the kinetic parameters you have already studied in the initial chapters. So that includes the elimination rate constant, T half, C max, T max, AUC, etc. Okay. So how to determine it? So the first initial I told you after administration of this drug into a healthy volunteer, you can collect the blood samples at a particular period of time. Collect the blood samples, process it, collect the serum or plasma, whatever it is, analyze the blood sample, analyze the plasma samples by HPLC or any of the spectrophotometric methods to determine the concentration of the person in the plasma samples. After determining the concentration of drug present in the plasma samples, we plot a graph. Okay? Then graph is concentration against time. Concentration against time. So this is the correction. This is low concentration. Okay? Plot a graph of low concentration against time. Okay? So once you plot a graph of low concentration against time, you will be getting a straight line. Because this is a first order process. This is a first order process, you will be getting a straight line. Okay. Once you get a straight line, the point at which it intersects in the y axis, the point it intersects in the y axis is considered as the C0. Initial concentration. And the slope of this line is equal to minus a divided by 2.3 why? Okay, now I said after plotting the law concentration against the time, this is a strain. What is the equation for a strain line? The equation for a strain line that is equal to y is equal to mx plus c. y is equal to mx plus c is the equation for the strain line. Okay, now y, what is y here? The y is log c. x is what? Time. So in this equation, what is M represents, M represents the slope, C is the constant that is the y to the side. Okay, so here we have y, M, x, and this is this step resembles to what? This step resembles to C. Log C resembles to y in the straight line. Log C0 represents to C constant in the straight line. K T by 2.5 resembles to M minus the equation for straight line. Okay, so if m x x is g, the remainder of the minus a d by 2.3 will give you one slope. So slope of this region is equal to minus of a d divided by 2.3 and the y percent is equal to c0. So getting after getting the plasma profile, plot the graph. If from the graph you can determine the two terms. The first term is log c0 that is the initial plasma concentration the second term is minus k by 2.3 equal to what? equal to slope okay slope is equal to minus k by 2.3 so by multiplying slope into 2.3 you will get what you get value of k slope into 2.3 is equal to k so you go to value of k you go to value of c0 so after getting the value of k you can represent the half so general will be 1.6 and by k because this is a first order process. Vd, Vd is equal to x by c. We would already have seen Vd is equal to x by c. It's for IV borders administration, especially we can say V is equal to x0 divided by c0. Also by non-compartment analysis. Non-compartment analysis I will do the session later. Okay, just remember the equation here. What is non-compartment analysis? Now we will see later. 
By non compatible analysis, we determine V is equal to x0 by k into A into C and the clearance. Clearance is equal to k into V. Clearance also I will give you section and separate section for clearance also later. Okay. So clearance is equal to k into V. So these are the various form of kinetic parameters: clearance, V, T half, and Okay, so let us know why once again it's one compartment upper water, IV porous administration. In that case, administration has an injection into the body. So we are going to determine the various kinetic parameters. We are going to derive the equation also. So the schematic representation for one compartment upper water is this one, one compartment, and that is administration into the body at the IV porous, and we will go from the body at the KP administration also. The general representation that is the presentation of the term of the body is equal by dx by dx is equal to rate in minus rate out. Okay, rate in indicates at what rate the body is entering, rate out indicates at what rate the body is leaving the body. Okay, since it is an injection, there is no particular rate of administration. The rate of administration is zero because we are administering very fast within a single second short of time, we are administering high volume of drug molecule. Okay. So the rate in becomes zero and it becomes this rate out. Okay. So rate out is equal to minus KDX. Why is KDX? Because rate out equals global penetration, passive process, depends on concentration. Concentration depends on the procedure is it is first order process. So for the first order process, it is which is KDX because the inhibition depends on cost, amount of work, X represents the amount of work, and if K represents the elimination play constant. So dx by dx is equal to minus kdx. Taking the logarithm, you get log x equal to log x equal to log x zero minus kdx. Converting into the exponential form x equal to x zero is minus kdg. Taking the logarithm, log x equal to log x zero minus k divided by two point three not three. X is equal to bdc. Substitute the value of x equal to bdc in the previous situation. You will get log bdc equal to log bdc zero minus k divided by two point three not three. Substitute simplifying the values of log x plus is equal to log x plus log y. You will get log c is equal to log c zero minus k divided by two point three not three. Okay, so this is the general equation for one compartment upper model I call as administration. Now to determine the kinetic parameters, for the graph low oscillation against the time will be the straight line. Okay. The y intercept of the straight line. Sometimes this line may not intersect. Okay, in that case also we can by extrapolate towards the y axis. Now sometimes we do not because we are not collecting the simultaneously or time, maybe not after five minutes of time. Okay, so the graph will be between starting from here on. So, in order to determine the CSO, you can back extrapolate towards the y axis. Back extrapolate to the y axis, the y intercept of this line shows what shows the C0, and the slope of this line is to the minus k divided by 2.3 now three. Why? Because this line is the first degree for the state line y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, so from this graph, we can determine the two parameters one is c0, other one is ke. After getting the ke, you can decide p half, p half is equal to 0.693 by ke, v is equal to x by c or x0 by c0, and v is equal to x0 by ke into a u c, and k is equal to ke into a u. That's it.